Lecture 3-1 AC Circuit Analysis Circuit Simplification. You should be reading section 9.6 of the textbook to supplement this topic. The learning objectives are to combine impedances in series to find a single equivalent impedance. Apply the voltage divider to find voltage in an AC circuit. Combine impedances in parallel to find a single equivalent impedance. Apply the current divider to find currents in an AC circuit and use delta Y transformations to simplify a circuit to find voltage and current. So the theory for this lecture is based upon KVL and KCL. One of them is, is that impedances are in series combined exactly like resistors or inductors in series. And by using KVL, it's possible to show that the impedances combine such that if they are in series, ZAB would be Z1 plus Z2 and so on. Similarly, you can use the voltage divider just like you can for resistors and inductors, where if I want to find the voltage across impedance N, then Vn would be equal to Zn over the equivalent impedance times the source voltage. Based upon KCL, impedances in parallel combine like resistors in parallel when they share a single node pair. And it can be shown that to find the equivalent impedance of parallel impedances is one over ZAB equals one over Z1 plus one over Z2 and so on. But there's also a special case for parallel impedances, which is the product over the sum, but that is only valid for two impedances. So ZAB would be Z1 times Z2 over Z1 plus Z2. There's also a current divider for impedances that is similar to the current divider for resistors, so that if I want the current through impedance Zn, it is the equivalent impedance over Zn times the source current. Example one, use voltage division to find the voltage just in the following circuit. Vs is our source, Vr is the voltage across the resistor, Vl is the voltage across the inductor, and Vc is the voltage across the capacitor. Using KVL, we get that Vs is equal to Vr plus Vl plus Vc. So we're going to use voltage division to solve. So Vr is equal to 90 over 90 plus J160 minus J140, J40 times 750 with an angle of 30 degrees, which equals 450 with an angle of negative 23 degrees. VL is equal to J160 over 90 plus J120 times 750 with an angle of 30 degrees, which equals 800 with an angle of 66.87 degrees. And the voltage across the capacitor is negative J40 over 90 plus J20 times 750 with an angle of 30 degrees. And so the voltage across the capacitor is 200 with an angle of negative 113 degrees. So next we will use a phasor diagram to confirm KVL and that our result is correct. So we have the horizontal axis is the real axis, the vertical axis is the imaginary axis. And the first vector that we are going to draw is VR. VR has a magnitude of 450 and an angle of negative 23 degrees. Next, we are going to draw VL. VL makes an angle of 66.87 degrees with the horizontal and has a magnitude of 450, of 800, of 800. And then we are going to draw VC. VC makes an angle with the horizontal of negative 113 degrees, and it has a magnitude of 200. This is obviously not to scale. And then we show that that sum results in VS, 
which is an angle that has an angle of 30 degrees with a horizontal and a magnitude of 750. Example two, use current division to find the currents in the following circuit. We have a source current that's eight with an angle of zero degrees in parallel with 10 ohms, in parallel with six plus J eight ohms, in parallel with negative J five ohms. We'll label our source IS and write the KCL equation that IS is equal to IR, the current through the resistor, plus IL, the current through the inductor, plus IC, the current through the capacitor. So using the current divider, the current through the resistor is 10 in parallel with six plus J8 in parallel with negative J5 divided by 10 times eight angle zero and the current through the resistor is four with an angle of negative 36.87 degrees. IL is equal to the parallel combination four minus J3 over six plus J8 times eight with an angle of zero degrees, which equals four with an angle of negative 90 degrees and IC is equal to four minus J3 over negative J5 times eight with an angle of zero degrees, which is eight with an angle of 53 degrees. Next, we will use a phasor diagram to confirm KCL for the current through each of our elements. So we draw the diagram. So the first vector we're going to draw is IC, which has a length of eight and an angle of 53 degrees. Then we're going to draw IR, which has a length of four and an angle of negative 36.87 degrees. And then we're going to draw IL, which has an angle of negative 90 degrees and a length of four. And then we're going to show that this sums to our source current which is IS, which has a magnitude of eight and an angle with the horizontal of zero. And this concludes today's lecture on the AC circuit analysis, simplification techniques such as voltage and current divider.